In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to link external hardware to parameters inside FL Studio. These can be knobs, faders, buttons, or whatever. Just about any parameter inside FL Studio can be automated in real time by knobs and faders. You can use most MIDI interfaces with FL Studio. Even if you only have a MIDI keyboard hooked up, it will usually have quite a few knobs and faders on it, and these can be put to use. You can link them to parameters inside FL Studio in order to make adjustments in real time. This can be quite handy when you want to record automation, for example. It's often much easier to get a good result when physically adjusting a knob with your hands, rather than trying to achieve the same result with a mouse. There are two kinds of links that can be made inside FL Studio per-project links, and global links. The per-project links are session-based and will follow that one project. The links you make will be unique to that project and will be reassigned whenever you load that project. The advantage of per-project links is that they continue to work on other parts of FL Studio or plugins that are focused. Focusing is the act of clicking on the window or plugin with your mouse. The global links, on the other hand, applies across all projects, unless they are overridden by a per-project link. The advantage of global links is that they allow you to control many targets with one controller knob, slider, or switch. When you focus the plugin or window, programmed links are automatically re-established. Let's have a look at how to set up a per-project link first. The procedure is a little bit different using native plugins and third-party plugins. Let's try this with a native FL Studio plugin first. Let's say I wanted to link the cutoff knob right here to one of the knobs on my synth. First, right click on the knob you want to link. Select Link to Controller. Then, all you have to do is move the knob on your MIDI device. A link will automatically be made. Now, let's try this with a third party VST. This time, right-clicking on the knobs does absolutely nothing. Instead, what we have to do is to tweak the knob we want to automate. That way, FL Studio will remember the last touch control. So, let's adjust this cutoff knob. Now, go to Tools, and then Last Tweaked. Select Link to Controller. Then, do the same as you did last time. Tweak the controller you want linked to this control on your MIDI device. The connection has now been made. Next, let's move on to the global links. After a global link is made, your controller will automatically link to the target in FL Studio or plugin each time that plugin is in focus. In order to make a global link, you will need to click here. Now that it's active, tweak the control you want to link. Let's try this one. Then. Right-click on the multi-link knob again and select Override Generic Links. The Generic Links window will open. Then, tweak the hardware. A permanent link has now been made and will re-establish whenever I load this plugin. It doesn't matter if I close FL Studio and open it again, the link will be re-enabled automatically. If you want to delete a link, then the simplest method is to reassign the offending link. Alternatively, if you want to delete every link you've made, you can go to your FL Studio folder, navigate here, and then delete these files. Last but not least, let's have a look at how you can record automation by using your hardware. Here I have a simple melody playing. Let's assign the cutoff to a knob. Right-click the record button and make sure that automation is selected. We can now press record and while it's recording, tweak the knob.
As you can see, it recorded the movement of the knob. It's not possible to record directly into automation clips in FL Studio. It will always record an event instead, as you can see in the background of the pattern here. It is, however, possible to convert events into automation clips. To do that, you can go here and then select Turn into Automation Clip. Now this menu pops up. Here you can determine how many points you want to generate within the automation clip. If you want to know more about events and automation clips, then you can check out my automation tutorial. I've added the link to the description below. Now you can start using those knobs and faders. Remember, you can link just about any parameter inside FL Studio to any knob. For example, I have some faders here that I could link to some of my mixer tracks. There's not enough for all my tracks, but I could link some of these to my submixes, for example. I hope this was helpful. If you'd like to support my work, you can head over to Patreon and make a donation there. And to those of you who have already done so, thank you so much for your support. It's very much appreciated. I'm still offering feedback on tracks, so if you want professional feedback on your track, then check out my gig on Fiverr. You can find the link in the description below. If you like this video, then go ahead and hit that like button. Feel free to share this video with anyone who you think might benefit from it. And as always, if there's any specific tutorial you'd like me to make, just let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.